Hi, my name's Gavin Freeman. I'm a psychologist. I uh, started off my life working as a sports psychologist, really trying to understand you know, how do we effectively perform under pressure and how do we achieve the goals that we're trying to achieve. Um, and so for the last couple of years, I've spent a lot of time working with a lot of young people, little you know, adolescents, all the way through up into, up into adulthood and trying to understand what are the factors that allow them to achieve the, the goals that they're trying to achieve. I've been working with Skills Road now for over three years and through that we've run a number of different seminars. We've collated enough information over those years in surveying both uh, the, the youth out there and some of the, the teachers and lecturers and, and staff that have been around it to try to understand what are some of the challenges that some of our young people are facing. And so much of the program has been designed with that in mind. So we've taken research, we've looked at the best ways to deliver on that research, and hopefully now what we've, what we've got for you now is a, a model by which you as, the, uh, you as the educator can take this information, use it effectively, put your own little spin onto it, um, but ultimately help those that you're working with achieve their goals. So what we've done is we've put together a career pathway program. We're trying to understand why, how, and what students would like to do when it comes to their career. Um, the, the program is a nine series program and it encompasses a variety of different techniques. We've given you the PowerPoint presentations, we've given you the packs that go with that, all the activities, whether they're YouTube, TED Talks, or a variety of different other video-based links. We've got actual activities that the kids can do, and we've given you some ideas around how you can deliver it effectively within the classroom structure. We understand time is of, uh, time is of essence, so we've tried to keep each of the programs down to a 45-minute deliverable, but that's very much dependent on you. You can shorten the time, and if you've got a bit more time, you can actually extend it longer, allow the students to, to, to spend more time in some of the activities. But ultimately, you as the teacher have control over the way we deliver this program. What we find with most students when you say to them, what do you want to be when you grow up, is that they think about it from a what perspective. What do I want to be? Or what has, you know, what are people telling me I should be? Or what is mum and dad being? And so therefore I should be the same thing. And often it's very difficult for a student to really understand exactly why they should be taking that career pathway. So what we've done is we've taken an old, a good old fashioned theory out there, which was made famous by a guy by the name of Simon Sinek, which looked at the golden circles. And what this principle suggests is, is instead of starting with the what, we need to start with the why. We need to understand why we want to have a career. And once we've understood that, then we can start to think about how we're going to achieve it. And the what becomes the very last piece to the puzzle rather than the first piece to the puzzle. What it also enables students to do is to build a sense of accountability in achieving their goal and achieving that career that they want to do. The last thing we want is students sitting back and allowing somebody else to tell them what they should become or what they should do and then try to follow on that. And we know that when that happens, the minute the first hurdle is presented, those people give up. If they don't have a deep understanding of why they want to do what they're doing, the very first time resistance hits in or there's some degree of adversity, those particular individuals are likely to give up and ultimately fall through the cracks. When individuals understand why they want to do what they do, they're much more resilient, they're more goal orientated and they're able to push through and achieve their goals. So the program split into two distinct phases. The first phase really focuses on the why, how and the what. And the second phase then starts to delve down into some more specific details that could be of benefit to your students. We focus in on motivation and what motivates individuals. And, and from the motivational perspective, we try to understand the difference between people who are motivated to succeed and people who are motivated to avoid failure. After that, we then move into the concepts of resilience and understanding what do we need to do to build up our resilience and understand what that is. We then move into the, our sustained appropriate focus. Focus. How do we set a focal point and make sure that we can sustain ourselves to achieve it? And the final piece of the puzzle is a sense of discipline. And how do we maintain our discipline to achieve the goals that we set for ourselves? What we're trying to achieve with these two phases is we're going to pull it all together at the very end where we're going to look at starting from the why, working all the way through the what, and then into all these different phases and ultimately give the students a pathway program that they can use to build the career that they want. So the ultimate goal of this program is for you as the teacher to be able to arm your students with all the knowledge that they need to effectively make the decision about the career that they want to have, not the one that they've been pushed into.